Hi Aries, welcome to my channel. We're doing your dailies. This is the 9 to the 10 Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. What you guys got for me? Okay, good morning America, good morning world. This is your dailies and as you drive going to work, I hope you guys are doing well. <laughs> it's like a radio show over here. Mm-hmm. Oh. There's a song, Aries. There's a song. It's by, is it B-52? Love Shack. Love Shack. Baby love shack and love shack, baby love shack. Yep, that's what I heard. So early for that song. <laughs> Let's see what's going on though. Let's see what's going on. Okay, here we go. What you guys got for me? Nine to the ten. Big wheels keep on turning. Proud Mary keep on turning. Wheel of Fortune. Is it payday again? It's always payday with Sal. That's what I say. <laughs> Why not? If there's anything that should be happening every day, it's payday. Put in the comment and if you agree, right? <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Wheel of Fortune. Jupiter. Mm. Expansion. The husband, right? Is your husband getting fatter? Just saying. <laughs> Can be. They might be gaining weight or someone is gaining weight also. Jupiter kind of tends to do that wherever it's sitting. Okay. So... If you are an Aries and Jupiter is in your first house, chances are you probably have a very, very big ego. No, you know, no hate on that. It's just like, it says is, okay? And you live up to it though. You have to live up to the expectation of the planet, meaning what you say has the backing. You got me? When you say something, like, I know that, you really do. Mm -hmm. Or sometimes you pray that you do. <laughs> because Jupiter is really the higher wisdom, right? So ju just like that, okay? Because the head, okay? Um, chances are it's hard for you to buy a hat, a baseball hat, or any kind of hat because it's always like, my hat, my head is just like out of proportion and everybody's like, what do you mean about that? It's like, I don't know. It's just like it's big. Jupiter in the first house. It trickles down also. To, I like it when any planet, oh, it's too early for this. I need to keep going, okay? Any planet when I see, okay, that it's on the first, it trickles down to all the 12. It just gets literally less and less and less and less and less and less and less until it goes to the 12. Okay, so that's how I see it. Okay, so anyhow, this is someone that is fated for you. You gonna meet someone or you've met someone. Okay, Aquarius stories the Scorpio. Okay, fated event, meaning it's planned by the universe. How do you do it? We don't know. Okay, how you came up to this planet? We don't know. <laughs> fated. Three of Cups, a party. Uh huh. There's an energy to reunite, you know, chit chat. Let's have a coffee. You know, there's a coffee date, right? Two cups being poured to one. This is two people, okay, sharing their feelings and emotion and letting it brew, okay? So this energy is also being patient. That's what I'm feeling it right now with the Three of Cups because you just want to take it easy with this person. Not sure why, but you want to take it easy, okay? Let me see here. And we might do some prediction with time. Well, I think we will, okay? If you're going to go to the extended, we'll predict some time with the Wheel of Fortune. Mm-hmm. You have the Queen of Swords, okay. A little reluctant when things are moving, hesitation. Queen of Swords doesn't like to get wet, okay? It's emotions and feelings. And the other person wants to have some sort of feelings. Feelings, nothing more than feelings. Because you don't want more than feelings. Maybe you just want things to just, just keep it as a chill pill right now, you know? Having a good time right now. Six of Wands, yeah, definitely want to have a good time, okay? Six of Wands. This person can be, um, you know, like the Six of Wands is a traveler who goes out, journey, a lot of people around them, you know. But this person just want one date. Are you going to say yes? Because that's a date card, Three of Cups. Six of Wands, there might not be in their highest vibration because Six of Wands attracts the good and the bad, okay? But in reality, if you think about it, sometimes you can't help it, you know? You can't just keep attracting the good. <laughs> Sometimes the bad has to come also. So that's their energy. But they only want one, okay? So out of all the crowd. This person can be a crowd pleaser also. Because six, it's like six of ones, they love the adoration of many, okay? And for you, it's like, seriously, the Queen of Swords. Then you have your Nine of Wands, Mars energy, okay? Guards up, guards up, guards up. I have 444 four, four when I saw Mars. So that might be something for you. You have your walls up. 
because why all, why all of a sudden you want to do this why all of a sudden you know th there's someone who's can be coming back to you or this is an energy where you know it's like because this is one this is someone who wants to conquer you and for you mm -hmm. you're gonna conquer an Aries mm -hmm. that's what you say over to this person guards up walls up defense 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 okay it's almost like you're protecting your will of fortune over here I'm not sure what it is other person is a hermit card a spiritual person okay so now they they do stand out in the crowd because they've done their healing can be a virgo also um this is someone who has chosen a different life path oh that's what they're saying now to me what a hermit card is a person who has gone through a journey where nobody will and that journey we take on our own you know how persons say oh in seclusion because they're doing their own thing so this person has done their own thing has came back different and now they're here all right so Aries, i'm going to continue this reading as we move forward with these energies as you meet this person can be you know the fixed signs over here and we're going to see how it goes also as far as because this is jupiter is your husband and so if you're a feminine energy we'll see the um, masculine the masculine as it moves forward and also where the feminine is all right thank you very much Aries. it's your nine to ten have a wonderful day bye